just uh, keep going. Don't stop, even if it seems really hard. It's, it, if, it, even if it takes a million years. An inspiration to kids out there not to just pick up a book and read, but to write one of their own. This right here, that's Judah Maha, a young author from our area and our WVTM 13 Project Community Champion tonight. You can join us as we start to capture your imagination and read Jefferson Island. I'm clutching my bottle like it's my last hope. I don't know where I am. 12-year-old author Judah Maha proudly holding his very first published work. How have you been working on this book? Oh, since I was like nine. It's been a while. Pen to paper, weaving words eloquently through the pages of his very first horror novel. I can see the reflection of the moon on the water and a tiny bridge in the distance. I can barely make it out of the, in the darkness. What inspired you to get started? Well, I've always really liked the horror genre and I've always wanted to write a book, so I just combined those two things. A copy of Jefferson Island poised at Little Professor Bookstore alongside renowned Alabama authors. It's about this island, um, and it's invaded by these Eldridge monsters, and then the main characters have to survive and try to escape. I'm just gonna read the prologue because I don't want to give too much away. Sharing here at his book signing, the page is filled with more than monsters. You'll find messages like friendship and inclusion. It's about everyone regardless of who they are. Um, people of different social classes, different, different everything, and they're all getting together because they need to survive. Real authors start at this age, like, that's absolutely so special. Dr. M.K. Foster, a writer, researcher, educator, and employee of Little Professor Bookstore, published her first poem at the same age. To know that like Judah's doing this at 12 and putting his stories out there, um, learning how to like take feedback, to work with an editor, to witness the publishing process. How long did it take to go through the process of publishing it? I know that probably... Oh, that, that took like a year probably. And the pictures? Yeah, those are his too. I illustrated it. You illustrated it too? Oh, it was it took a whole summer. It was so hard. He's a busy kid who makes time for his craft and has practiced discipline and dedication. 20 minutes a day, he writes. And of course, he reads a lot too. Well, for me, books just help me become a better writer because it exposes me to different writing techniques. Judah's motivation, a deep appreciation for his heritage. You had a lot of people that were you want to thank too. Of course, yeah. yeah I give the utmost thanks to everyone who helped me on this journey. And while this is the end of the story, it's just the beginning for this rising star. Do you think that you want to continue to author books? A hundred percent. I'm working on one right now. You may want to get an autograph now. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, sir. I'm excited. He is pretty incredible. You can get a copy of the book at Little Professor. It's right here in Birmingham. You can also get a copy online. I'll put that link right on our website. Thank you, Judah, uh, Judah for being an inspiration to all of us. I love his I love his excitement for his work. And reading and for writing. It's nice to see in a, in a, in a kid his age.